What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So as you know, recently NFTs have been going absolutely crazy. Just a couple of days, Budweiser bought an NFT to use as their Twitter display picture. Visa also got involved in the CryptoPunks NFTs and that sent the floor price for those NFTs absolutely flying. Things are going crazy, absolutely crazy in the world of NFTs. So today I thought it'd be fun to go through the 15 most expensive NFTs to ever have been sold so far. And nine of those sales have happened in just the last six months. So that's what we're gonna be going through today. If you don't know me already, my name's Connor, and of course, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy sitting in his room talking about different ways to make money online. So if that sort of thing interests you, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. And without wasting any more of your time, let's jump over to this article that I found over here on decrypt.com. So if you don't know already, non-fungible tokens are unique digital assets that are generally used to represent works of art or collectibles. So it's basically artwork on the blockchain. And yes, they are just simply JPEGs. And yes, you can download those JPEGs. You can print them off and you can put them on your wall, but that isn't ownership. The whole point of NFTs are you are the sole owner of this work of art. So that is what people are after. They want the proof that it is theirs. No one else can fake it. It 100% belongs to them. Now to a lot of people out there, it seems a bit ridiculous. And yes, I will admit that I do think squiggly lines on a computer selling for millions is definitely a bubble but I do think NFTs are here to stay. I think that people will continue to want to buy these pieces of art as both status symbols and collectibles. So I think this is definitely a space that is very much early and there is so much you can do in the world of NFT. So I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. So with all of that said, let's go through the 15 most expensive NFTs ever sold. So coming in at number 15, we have Jack Dorsey's very first tweet selling for 2.9 million dollars. So an NFT version of Twitter's co-founder and CEO Jack Dorsey's first tweet, which was also the first ever tweet on Twitter, was auctioned throughout March 2021 and finally sold for 2.9 million. The token was minted through a platform known as Valuables, which allows users to create NFTs that represent their tweets. Dorsey pledged to immediately convert 100% of the proceeds to Bitcoin before donating it to Africa Response. So he donated the money to charity, but this is incredible $2.9 million for a tweet. Now it is the very first tweet to ever go live on Twitter. So you can see why someone might see that as a valuable piece of history to hold. So moving on to number 15, we have Fidenza 313 for $3.3 million, right? While the likes of CryptoPunks and Bored Ape and Bored Ape Yacht Club have been making headlines, Ethereum-based generative art collection, Artblocks has been quietly racking up the hundreds of millions of dollars in trading volume. In August 2021, it marked its largest NFT sale to date with the Fidenza 313 by Tyler Hobbs, changing hands for one thousand ethereum so 3.3 million dollars at the time of purchase so you may look at this and think it's totally ridiculous but also there is artwork that sells which is just splashes of paint on a canvas so really which is more ridiculous do let me know down in the comment section if you think that there is a place for nft art in the future or do you think this is just simply a massive bubble so moving on to number 13, we have Replicator, which sold for $4.1 million. $4.1 million. This NFT comes with a unique twist, as its name suggests, the Replicator. A digital artwork by Mad Dog Jones makes copies of itself. The self-replicating NFT spits out potentially hundreds of variant NFTs that can be sold by the owners. Wow, so it seems like that could actually create some passive income and maybe would make its own money back after a little bit of time. $4.1 million. So moving on to number 12, we got CryptoPunk 2338 for $4.4 million. Now this is what I'm talking about. These are the things that have people up in arms. People are angry that this sort of thing is selling for $4.4 million. And I do not blame you guys. It's kind of ridiculous that just this JPEG is selling for 4.4 million. But remember, it's not the fact that it's a JPEG, it's the ownership over this piece of art. That's what people are buying. And it was originally purchased by its owner for just $443 back in November 2008. So what a return on your investment. Now, that's absolutely incredible. There is such an opportunity out here for 
NFTs and to make loads of money with them. But you have to be super careful because obviously there are loads of copycats. There is loads of stuff out there. So I do very much suggest that you go out there and do your research and do potentially get involved in some of these. I've got involved in some NFTs myself. Some of them are up, some of them are down. It's a very crazy space to be in, very new for me as well, but there is definitely an opportunity and where there's opportunity, that's where I wanna be. So moving on to number 11, we have Save Thousands of Lives sold for 5.1 million. Nonprofit Nora Health creates Save Thousands of Lives NFT to raise funds for its work with new mothers in South Asia. So another noble cause, $5.1 million. I think that's less of a bubbly type thing because the money is actually going to people in need. So moving on to number 10, we have Stay Free, $5.27 million. So the NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden, I highly suggest that you go and watch the documentary to do with him. It's very, very interesting. If you don't know who that is or you want to learn more about him, threw his hat into the NFT ring in April, creating and auctioning off a digital artwork called Stay Free. The work depicts a cutout of the pensive Snowden against a background of text. Definitely something that people could consider a collection piece because it is genuinely a piece of history, right? Edwin Snowden is very much cemented in our history. So number nine, CryptoPunks, again, $5.3 million. So this was actually a little bit different to the other CryptoPunks. Someone bought it for 2.5 million and just a few weeks later, they doubled their money to 5.3 million dollars. What an investment that was, a great return on their money. Talking about NFTs and ways to make money, this is crypto.com. This is one of my favorite platforms. They also have an NFT platform that they've built recently. You can buy and sell NFTs right here on crypto.com. But you can also use it for so much more. I personally use crypto.com for their exchange and their staking options. So I stake my crypto over on Crypto Earn. You can earn up to 14.5% on your crypto. So I stake over on crypto.com to earn a passive income. So you guys can do that too. If you do fancy it, I have a link down there in my description. And when you sign up, if you do use that link, you'll get a $25 bonus. So I highly suggest that you check this out. On top of all of this, you can get a metal visa card, which on top of giving you 8% back on all of your spending also looks super cool. I've wanted a metal card for so long. I'm still waiting for mine in the post and I will be showing you guys the second it comes back. So heading back to the article, Let's move on to number eight, World Wide Web source code, 5.43 million. So the World Wide, the World Wide Web creator, so Tim Berners-Lee surprised many when he announced that he planned to sell an NFT representing the original source code of the web at auction. Now, what a piece of history that would be owning that. So you can really see why people would be paying $5.43 million for that. Now you'd obviously have to be super rich, but I bet you that will be worth a lot more money in a few years time. So number seven, we got CryptoPunks again, $5.4 million. Coming in at number six, we've got Oceanfront at $6 million. In March 2021, Justin Sun finally got his hands on the Beeple NFT, paying $6 million for the work. I'm sure you guys have heard of Beeple, and we will be talking about him next. Here we have $6.6 .6 million. Crossroads is an NFT art created by Beeple. It features anti-Trump messaging and an enlarged Donald Trump-like feature laying in a defeated heap with profanities written across his naked body. You can see it here. This is the NFT and this is one of the most interesting NFTs that I've seen. Obviously it has a very strong message into it and we're not going to get into that on this channel. So moving on, we got number four, it's CryptoPunks again, $7.5 million. Oh, who is it? It's CryptoPunks. $7.56 million at number three. Number two, we got another CryptoPunk, $11.8 million. $11.8 million for a pixelated picture of a guy in a hat. It's absolutely wild. It is absolutely wild. If you don't know what CryptoPunks are, they're randomly generated set of 100,000 unique digital characters and are some of the first examples of non-fungible tokens released on the NFT blockchain. So they've been around for a while now and that is why people are seriously collecting them up right now. And just look at that. People bought these for just a few hundred dollars back in 2018 and now they are worth millions. Absolutely crazy. So and we have our winner at number one. 
It's every day, it's the first 5,000 days. So this is another artwork by Beeple. $69.3 million, the record for the most expensive NFT ever sold goes to the every days. The artwork was created by Beeple, the guy that we spoke about earlier. And this NFT represents a collage of 5,000 of Beeple's earlier artworks, demonstrating his development as an artist over the course of his career. $69.3 million. How crazy is that? So hopefully you enjoyed this little video looking at the most expensive NFTs ever sold. I know I personally found this article super interesting. Hopefully I provided you with a little bit of entertainment. If I did, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.